you at the Errol Spence gym? I didn't Did go to the Errol Spence gym, no. Um, when I was at there, I was at there for about, four, about five to four days. Um, I saw Errol Spence as well. I know him from when I was in Vegas. Right. Um, so, me and a chat, we had, we had a little chat. Um, congratulate. He actually congratulated me for getting on that card before I even went out there. Um, so, yeah, it's good. Now he's got a massive fight. I told him we'll get to that stage as well. From yeah. my same spot in the first gym. I said, yeah, this guy is serious. Yeah. And then we saw him in another gym called um, the Hip Factory. Right. I said, this guy is serious. So yeah. even it was Spence watching me spar, I learned, I just learned little bits from him as well. Like watching him spar, watching him warm up, how he conducts himself, yeah. how he takes training. So he's got, he's relaxed, goes in there, does his job. That's it. Cool. Um, obviously, uh, have you, uh, you're boxing obviously uh, next week in front of Floyd Mayweather. Um, have you done any um, sparring or training in front of him before? Have you visited his gym or anything? Yeah, I went to his gym in 2012, okay. 2013, and I think in 2014. Um, actually, no, I went two, twice in 2013, and then once in 2015, but not to box. Um, so yeah, um, Fred, he knows me. When he came over here as well, he knows my face. Right, right. Um, but he don't know me to say, oh, that's Anthony. But he knows my face, so when he sees me, he goes, yeah, yeah I've, I've seen you before. Yeah. So I went out there, um, done some training in the gym, I sparred Andrew Tabiti, okay. I sparred um, Michael Hunter, but that was in the hit factory. Um, but the word got ran um, when I sparred Tabiti, and then they wanted me to come back to be Badu Jack's sparring right, right, right. And this is when, he was, this is when Badu Jack was training with um, Eddie Mustafa. Eddie Mustafa, okay, yeah. I think it's not. Eddie Mustafa, he's a world champion. Yeah. Um, but then they wanted, they were preparing to fight James Hill, but this was before, before the council. But they thought it was a southpaw, so they was like, oh yeah, we need a southpaw, someone that switches. Right. I stay in the awful position. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it was good to go out to Flair's gym, watch yeah. him train, watch him spot, etc. Me fighting in front of him. I see it as once it comes to your face, you're fighting, you're fighting in front of him. That's the mindset I've got, you're fighting in front of him. Yeah. You never know who you're watching. So the fact Flair's going to be in the present, um, I'm not going to be thinking about that. I might pull out a few of his tricks. <laughs> I'm pull out and yeah, check yeah. foot. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um, and obviously, um, touching just back on that um, Errol Spence, um, Kel Brick fight now. Um, how do you think that will go? It could go both ways. Um, I just... I always try and back who I know. I know Errol Spence a bit better, even though... Um, Kel Brooks from England. I've never actually met Kel Brooks. I've seen them to say nod at each other and, and touch each other. Um, but I haven't ever actually sat there and have a conversation with him. So I don't really know him. But in terms of, and I haven't even seen him in the gym either. I've seen him train. I've seen Earl Spence in the gym um, and I've seen his last few fights. He's been locked at Algeria. He had gone rounds with Pacquiao, never got stopped. Yeah. Um, Al Jerry went rounds with um, that P Povodnikov yeah, yeah. that never got knocked out. So before um, Neville Spence, he never got knocked out. And Neville Spence took him out. He didn't just knock him out or catch him with a shot. Yeah. He knocked him out. And he knocked out the other guy that's never been stopped as well. So Neville Spence has won. His last three fights, he's been showing what he's about. So And he's southpaw. Yeah, yeah. I've seen um, Kel Brooking at southpaw before. He gets hit. Yeah. And Spence ain't the guy you really want to get hit by. He will start walking you down. Yeah. So if you obviously if he's a better man, you put it on Spence. I'm not, I'm not, I don't really say that. Especially when I kinda know both parties, I don't really put a prediction, but I just know what both guys are about. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. So um we'll probably catch up with you then on um after the fight. Um hopefully after the weigh in as well. Um are you local to here? You staying you staying here? Literally, I, fight live, night I live or? fifteen minutes away from here drive. Um so I'll stay at home. Fight yeah. Night. Um day before the fight. Yeah, we've got, yeah. On Wednesday we got the open workout. Okay. Um, we're deciding if it's going to be here or in Westfield. We got a Thursday we got a press conference. Yeah. Um, location still still to be announced. Friday weigh in. Oh. Saturday. Fight night. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday yeah. fight night. Saturday you got to do the business. So yeah, cheers for talking to RingRQ.tv. Uh, much appreciated.